Greetings and welcome everyone. It's Eugen Geek Movie Cast, episode 350. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinsod. Back on camera. And Tony Korkanakis. Woo! Yeah, I'm here this week. We're back on camera. So, Ooh. I, I don't know. Oh, I just realized I didn't respond to you guys in the Slack, but yeah, I don't think we ever posted the, the podcast on YouTube. Oh, I apologize be a gap. for that, guys. Apologies so, for that. We'll, we'll probably. I don't even know how to get into the YouTube thing, so I have to look at that. I have mm. done it. Okay. Uh, well, welcome, listeners and viewers, <laughs> to episode 350, the nice round number. Um,. This is, well, yeah, we got a lot of movie news to talk about. Uh, gaming side of things, there's not much uh, news coming up for the GameCast, but we do have uh, what we've been up to to talk about. We have actually some great news for that actually coming up, so we'll, I'm sure we'll talk quite a bit coming up for that. Uh, but right now, this is the movie cast. We're going to go into the box office and discuss the number one movie for last weekend and number one movie internationally, Transformers The Last Night. Uh, it's worst opening for a Transformers movie domestically ever. Best opening, I think, internationally, though, right? Or is it is second it? strongest? Or, it came out I mean, to be strong. Uh, it killed it in China, right? Yeah, it came out yep. 296 million total worldwide. Like, yeah. that's everything, which is amazing for an opening week. Uh, 44.7 million for a weekend haul. Uh, I think it was 69.7 million total. For the five day. Yeah. For the five day, yeah. Uh, very not a, weak. Not a very, very strong domestic. I think the. Transformers legs are dying. Uh, the fatigue is setting in. But I, I think that's just uh, the big franchises. I mean, we look at Pirates. We expected Pirates to do better, a lot better than it did, and it just kind of died out. No, I know. Yeah. I just uh, – th- th- it also hurts that this movie Same sucks thing with Fast, uh, Fast 8, too. Like, domestically, these movies are not doing well, but internationally, oh, no. they're killing didn't, it. Didn't Fast 8 do better than we thought domestically? No, 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 really? It was the weakest yeah. in the franchise, I thought, or since it is two. It was or like the weakest like opening. Yeah, well, yeah. the weakest in this trend of like Fast Five, Fast yeah. Six, Fast Seven, Fast Eight, then. And we talked about how like have not having Brian Connor, uh, Paul Walker over there hurt the movie too. Like, mm. it definitely underperformed domestically. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I mean, a, yeah, it's. They but, just don't want these types of films now or something? It's just the fatigue, though. I think we've mentioned this. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I mean, people want, you know, new stuff. Something fresh. Exactly. My Amazon. Sorry, guys. If my Amazon Echo speaks, she just lit up. So <laughs> I don't know why, but I was covering it. So <laughs> it just she, I don't know what we're talking. Whatever we're talking about, she's listening right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alexa, bye, Amazon. <laughs> see? Headphones. <laughs> It's like that joke with Alexa, uh, Whole Foods. Buy a jar of lube. <laughs> mm. Anyways, uh, so Transformers: The Last Night was number one. Um, we're gonna get into that in just a second. We'll talk about that movie. The rest of your box office is Wonder Woman. What I want to talk about with that is how it's now outpacing domestically uh, Batman versus Superman. Right? By this Friday, I think it's going to overtake Batman v Superman. Yeah. Talking Wait, about domestically, yeah, domestically, oh, wow. yeah. Oh, cool. Talking about good like talking about how like strong interest is. Good movie, good for you know. I was I'm not gonna it's like I'm not gonna say strong legs for this one, but uh, like it, it's, it's it's like it's weird. Yeah, it's like if they made a good movie, people would come out. No, Tony, and see it's, it. it's a conspiracy. That's, people just that's don't so wanna, weird. People don't want to see DC movies thanks to the spin from the from the critics. Are you yeah. sure it's just not because it's a female in the lead? <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I just uh, I no, you know what? It's so hilarious. Yeah, though, yes, just, just ignore shat. all these factors and pretend they're not real, though. Let's just do that. They'll make jokes, but all those are real factors. It's a good movie, factors. Mike. It's a it's good a movie. It's a decent movie. No, yes. It's, it's a don't say decent. It's got a ninety-two rating. It is overrated. I'll say that. I liked it, but at this point, it's absolutely overrated. So, how much absolutely. better on a scale of Batman versus Superman would you put this? Where would you, where would you rank this? Like a full point higher. So this is like an eight, and that's like a seven. Oh, full point, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's so, better. Uh, it's better. It doesn't want to see. It out I of still the water. have not seen the movie, and like obviously, I'm very. I very much want to see the movie, and I very much was disappointed in seeing a different movie, but we'll talk about that later. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you finally get uh, to the movies, and you see... <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, with Wonder, with Wonder Woman, I think 
you know, they, you're, you they had you've been to... overhyped, Corey. I guarantee you, you're going to see this and yeah. you're gonna be like, eh. nobody's overhyping this to him. We're not like saying it's the greatest movie of all time at all. And I've liked the movies in the DC universe, except for Man of Steel. I do not like that. And I've only seen it the one time and will not watch no, it again. Is, but Batman vs. Superman. Like... And it's such more like, well, of I enjoy a, those. So I expect to enjoy this solid movie, movie. Too. Yeah, it's just much more of a yeah. solid movie all around. Like, yeah, I like Man of it's Steel. The most myself, but, movie I mean, the thing sure. is, it's also new. I mean, yeah. people don't really know Wonder Woman and yeah. the backstory behind well, Wonder Woman. They just look at her and say, oh, it's a female Superman. Mm-hmm. I guess. I mean, that was the thing. We didn't know much of her story. But uh, to be opening, what? 65 million less than Batman vs Superman did and then to overtake it at this point in its life. It's pretty I mean impressive. that's that's what reviews do though. I mean That's word of mouth. That's word of mouth, mouth. Mike. That's what's word of, That's weekend. word of mouth. Same that's thing. word of mouth. This point it's, it's not the same thing. No, it's not. It really this is. Is, at this point people are saying At this point this this anyone can write anything on the internet and it's indistinguishable from real reviews. Oh, so, not internet. Oh, that's a review. Word this, of is mouth, not, okay. this is not internet. We're taking so the I internet. Tweet, that's we, a review. We are taking the internet good. out of this. Review. We're taking the internet out. We're taking the internet out, okay? This is how? right now. How? Because right now, this Where is... Where does this word of mouth happen without the internet? People do Where's talk. Do you know that, right? Last time I checked... Who do you talk friend, to? I talked to you guys. How are we talking guys. now? I talked to you guys. <laughs> I talked to how your family. How are we family. talking now? Who's talking to anyone not using the internet? Oh my God. I talk to people at work in yeah. person all the time. It's, what are you exactly. About? I I constantly get questions like my so friends at work. The three people me, you hey. tell at work, that's and, that's and then, the box and then office, Mike, right? And then Mike, at this point, they go see it, then they tell three people, and then they tell three people. It's it just spreads it's out. It's a pyramid scheme, guys. Yes. At this point, Mike, it's talk. It's not reviews it's not anymore. It's the internet. No, I do. Um, internet I mean, talk. There is yes. something no. to be said about social media. Helping word of mouth move things a little quicker. Sure, but There's it's not reviews. It's more than it's something. Not saying, it's but it's indistinguishable for most reviews, people from reviews. I mean, you could say oh, indistinguishable critic review how? and like. How can you possibly review. say that with a straight face? How? A, yes. Uh, how? That's Explain how it. People- because you don't care about professional critics, right? And anything. No, so, I don't. Like, oh, I like Reddit, so there we go. Word of mouth. Internet people talk to you, and but that's then not take reviews. their advice. It that's might be from a person, though, Tony. Thing. It's, like, it's just a different review, way of saying like, oh, this my, my, review. My, my, my Let's all copy what the initial no, review was. Up. We'll all say the same right. thing, and so we don't look early like on, we're wrong in our opinion. No, early, and everyone says it. Early, and that's what the internet does. That's how it creates no, no, momentum. No, no, and that's how all of this works. I'm I'm not disagreeing with you early on that the people that went to see this in the beginning were based off of the reviews of the critics and the word of mouth that way. I'm saying at this point now, we're done with the internet. It's word of mouth. It's word of mouth now is what I'm saying. At it's this word point of now. Mouth the internet. But yeah, okay. Not off the internet. At this point now, it's spread to the the people. This is for the people. Okay. This no is one where it's talks at. to anyone in yeah, person. Yeah, the people. Okay. It, it's this is where it's at now. Because it's, it is. It's because, yes, the word of mouth on the internet is what got people like you and to- Tony to see the thing. Tony to see this movie who said, I will never see this movie. He, Yeah, that was because of that. You're right. At this point now, though, it's based off of, hey, was this a good movie? Yeah, I really actually enjoyed it. You should go check it out. That's where we're at now. Not online. We're talking about people that you know in person going to see I it. really think that's a very small percentage. It, it's only bringing in twenty five million now. I know. Well, Corey still has to see it. <laughs> yeah. What does that have to do with that, though? What does that have 20, to I'm do? I'm the twenty five percent, I guess. But yeah. I, I think I would, just to kind of clarify things. I think when you're saying reviews, Mike, I'm just from I'm saying people's reviews and critics' reviews and anybody who's saying it's a good movie. That's you're calling that a review. Well, no, I think it's indistinguishable for most people. Most people don't read mm. what's real or vetted or professional. Yeah. Most people I mean, see I said, Facebook whatever and Twitter someone says on like are... if some someone on that like so. garbage website Epic Stream, which I still see all the time, they, those people aren't professional reviewers. They can write whatever they want, and it'll come up right next to there and as real reviews, and people will be like, "All right, cool." Yeah. It's like, "Oh, they like this movie." It's the same thing. That's why we have aggregate sites like Rotten Tomatoes. Not only that, but we have people that actually speak to other people and tell them it's actually a good movie. <laughs> no one speaks to no, other it people. Doesn't happen. It doesn't <laughs> happen. Mm-hmm. It literally has happened. I've given you examples. Tony listened to us, first of all. My brother is going to go see it. He liked because I said it was actually good. Go check it out. You know, he was watching Suicide Squad saying, I can't finish this movie. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But they legitimately made a good movie with Wonder Woman. You should go check it out. And he's like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, cool. 
So, you know, that's where well, we're at right now. That's where we're at. It's come, it's come down off the internet to actual picnic discussions. Picnic time. It's picnic, picnic summer. Discussion. It's just summer. Okay. It's picnic time. I mean, I just want to make sure I got this correct. So when a movie like Batman v Superman comes out and it does huge the first weekend and then it drops off the second one because nobody wants to go see it, then it's everybody's out to get DC and they're on the no, Marvel everyone's paycheck. everyone's taking the cue but, of the initial reviews, copying their opinions for their own, even if they haven't seen it, and spreading it. Yes. I think there is a very – there is a, a – uh, like You don't want to be the one guy who likes something herbal. everyone else hates on the internet because then you look like an idiot, even though it may not be true. I mean, there is something to be said where people are, people like to follow along with the. I mean, there, there, that does happen. Sure, there's remember, a, remember a when people take. liked Nickelback? No, no, I, I'm not saying it doesn't. <laughs> they, I never even. They, I wasn't even disputing Nickelback your. Nickelback lost a career because of the internet. I'm not even disputing machine, your beginning. And there's not even right. a real reason the, for it. <laughs> the the word of mouth is what brings people in. The quality is what keeps people coming. That's if what for, I'm saying. Well, it's, I mean, it's views, all the same thing, views, Jim. Maybe. All the same. If you're talking about repeat views, perhaps, but no, I, I don't know. That, that's I don't know how many people still make it as much money like as it is. People's advice like that. I really don't think people like, to discredit this movie because it got hyped. Discredit movie. You you kind of are. Yo, yeah, you are. Yeah. I'm saying that it's overhyped a little bit at this it, point. I. It's the best DC movie since The Dark Knight. Yeah. That's that's a that's a. Statement Everything else make. has been mediocre. And, that, and you're making it sound this like it's just, just marginally good. better than Batman versus Superman. Oh, one point higher. Huh? One point I, higher. That's... I mean, he did rate, he rated Batman versus seat. Superman in a 7. I could see giving Wonder Woman an 8. I just don't think... You're, you're giving it a one point difference. That's the difference I see. Like I'm like, that it's doesn't difference really... difference between a B and a C. Yeah. I mean, you can make it a higher B... <laughs> if we're talking grading systems, yeah. Batman v Superman failed. I'm sorry. No, I mean I understand if he wants Thank to give you, that's if, great. if Mike wants to give <laughs> Batman versus Superman a seventy, that's yeah, fine. It's, a C minus. it's up to him to do that. But like to give this one only an eighty, I mean that's that's I di- I disagree on that. I just it's so much ah it's just like, just, like you even I said just, yourself it's more of a complete movie. It's more of a makes a, like it's a piece more a well pieced together. Movie. Yeah. Is it moment to moment as entertaining as some of the best scenes in those other movies? I don't think yes. so. Oh. Not the best scenes. All right, well, I missed but... you. All right. Why'd you say that name? <laughs> Martha. That was. I, yep, I'm sorry, right but I still love that that happened based on our own personal experience. With the <laughs> it was that, hilarious. that made the movie far better. You're right, but all right. Moving on yep. from Wonder Woman, we've talked to death about this. So, uh, Cars Three was number three at 25 million, roughly. You know, 24, whatever it was. Let me bring it back up. Sorry, my screen's all messed up right now. <laughs> 24.1, 47 meters <clears throat> down, and The Mummy was number five. I forgot to ask Tim what he thought of The Mummy, but he went and saw that. Sure, um, I haven't heard a single good thing about that movie. No, so. no, I know. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's about the same as Transformers from what I'm hearing. Um, opening this week is Despicable... No, no, is that Despicable Me this week? Yeah, Baby Driver's opening this week, right? So yeah, I'll, I'm I know actually going to see that. I'm going to see that Saturday. So Bunch, I nice. feel like there's a lot of interest in that movie, but I don't know if it's going to translate to box office i've been like waiting for it just because it's edgar wright and i've liked almost all of his movies i mean there's one that's kind of just like eh, but the rest of them have been really good so and just the the premise this sounds great so seems like a real cinephile movie like people who actually know who edgar wright is for one yeah. <laughs> or it's kind of like a new age tarantino i guess yeah in a way. yeah, yeah. I, I for some reason i like the trailer so much that we saw in front of uh, Transformers. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I mean, like, oh, that just looks... we see a trailer in Baby Driver? Maybe I... Oh, you know what? Maybe I saw it in front of... Uh, no, I wouldn't have seen that in front of Cars. I, I've, I would have seen it in front of Transformers. Oh, we did, I did not see that trailer then. Huh. I, I, swear, I, I swear I saw it there. That's I've where I saw it. I've only seen it online, like, when I was watching them. Maybe I saw it in front of Wonder Woman. Maybe. That was it. I, I don't know, but... Doubt it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen that in the theater at all. I like, have seen it in the theater, the trailer for that. So that's where I saw the. That's where I was like, oh, that actually looks pretty fun. That looks good. Like it's kind of well, cool. Wait, did you cool. mention that today though? Like, what? It must have been recent then. No, the no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I thought I saw it on Transformers. That's mm-hmm. what I mean. So I yeah, really thought. No, I mean, it could have. I might have not been in the theater yet. But like, maybe you we... were getting something. I don't, no, we were I there. Know. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. So that's opening this week. Um. Let's move back to Transformers and discuss fatigue. 
Um, Corey and I saw this. Mike, did you see this? No. Tony, you, did you see it yet? You didn't see it yet. No, okay. I didn't see it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. You're the biggest Transformer something. fan here. So. I know, so that's saying something. I know. We went and saw it because, uh, you know, like, I am not the biggest Transformers fan, but I do appreciate the fun level that they bring a lot of times, like the massive right. robots fighting each right. other, explosive and that's what, sequences. And that's what I didn't see in, in any of the previews. It was just like... Yeah, and... But I, I had faith that, you know, Michael Bay has an explosion button that we're just like, you know, we're waiting <laughs> to watch. And even these sequences in this movie were just bad. Like, I, I almost nodded off a few times. And this is me. I see everything. I go yeah. and see. Yeah, my wife fell asleep. I, 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 I almost did. I almost did. I felt bad that I got you guys out to go see a movie and it was Transformers. Like, I really wouldn't recommend anybody see this in the theaters at all. So yeah, that's really impressive. my recommendation. I'm not saying Tony, don't go see it because you're a Transformers fan. But I wouldn't go uh, see it. I'm not. I wouldn't it. see it in the theaters, is what I'm saying. So yeah, I'll see it eventually, maybe yeah, on like yeah. Blu-ray or DVD. But yeah. like, yeah, it's there's nothing beating down the door that you need to see this. You know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. nothing there. It just it just seems very it's like, fatigue, like cheap I, money grab. I, I'm just I don't know. If I'm just exhausted. What did we say last week, Mike? How long did we think uh, Optimus would be evil for? Uh, I said two thirds of the movie. No, I just like, really, I want to just say, and I think I said anything, like he's gonna be like five minutes, like not to spoil anything like here, but they really misrepresented what this movie was about in the in the trailers. <laughs> uh, that's yeah, so, not to spoil anything for that, but it was massive, very funny, massively, yeah. Uh, and there was funny sequences, like I think Corey, you said this. There were funny sequences in this movie that I don't think were intentionally funny, and I'm just like, they were so absurd that I'm just like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, it had a lot of the Transformers 2 feel. Um, yeah, a lot. A lot. That's, um, but I don't understand because they don't have Shia LaBeouf for his parents. So what, what was the, the robots? Subject? The robots. And their generic, stereotypical They're back. characterizations. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're back. back? Yeah. They died in the last one. Uh, they're more the now. One. There's tons of them now. They're more? Uh, any, any new Transformer robot you meet in this movie has the, a stereotype. The villain, like, or the bad, like, the, the not the bad, the, you know, Decepticons. Were very stereotyped as far as what they were <laughs> representing. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It just, I mean, when I see the previews of those movies, you can at least, I mean, I always appreciated them for just this technical prowess of like the CGI and stuff like that because they really did push the medium forward. Like Lucas Arts constantly had to create new tech to do all the CGI in those movies and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, there's cool action sequences. There's just, like, you know, money shots, which is fine. But, like, none yeah. of the previews for this movie looked interesting yeah. at all. Do you know what was cool for me in the previews for this were that they were all in IMAX? Like, they were the screen size. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's amazing. They're going to be large-scale robots in this. And I mm -hmm. wanted... and the movie was mostly IMAX. I mean, there was hardly – I would say it was, like, 25% not IMAX camera. So it was giant that's screen. That's really good, yeah. Yeah. So – and then the 3D. I was expecting great 3D. And I'm like, because it's – and it wasn't bad. The 3D actually was probably the better part of the movie. Uh, I would give this movie. I think yeah, I said it. Forgettable. I think I said a two. I gave it a two out of ten. Um, yeah, that's pretty that's probably where I'm at with this movie. It's it's that yeah. bad. Still still better than Sucker Punch, but yeah, it's, <laughs> we're in that we're in that vicinity uh, though. We are. And yeah. I and I made the statement that this is worse than two, and I think it is. Uh, I stand. No, by it's the statement. worst yeah. Michael Bay Transformers film. Yeah. Yeah. The the premise uh, is absurd. completely. Yeah, absurd. Great word. <laughs> the um, the plot lines that they they have are there's too many threads going on that mm -hmm. really don't pay off or come together, and then the human characters really don't have a reason to be there. No. Other than yeah. To. But I just kept when I was worse watching than Shia, like, what, why are you here? And like, yeah, because at least yeah. Shia you could understand because the first one was all about him and Bumblebee, and then the second yeah. one, and there's a whatever. relationship there, and like with Jaeger or whatever his name is, um, Mark mm -hmm. Hamill's character, like, okay, it's fine, he's in the, the that last one that they made, and it worked for that, but there's really no reason for him to be here. The girl that's in the trailers, you're like, okay, what are they gonna do with her? She's gonna have some something going on, and then you're like, oh, that's what they do, okay, yep, yep. and then. <laughs> Like this whole thing that kicks this all off is just doesn't make any sense. Dropped. Uh, 
Uh, it's just dropped. I, I kept watching, literally figuratively dropped. Yeah, I kept watching uh, like I kept watching Anthony Hopkins in this movie, and I'm like, I heard his performance is actually really yeah, good. So, movie, so like, this is funny about this movie because I and during the movie I'm thinking this by the way. So I'm watching his filming sequences. And I'm like, man, he's doing a good job with his. He's like, he's nailing these lines, and then I'm thinking to myself like, as it would change sequences, I'm like, I wonder if he went off camera and he's either like gone to the point where he's really senile and he's like, man, that was fun. That's a good movie, or he's in his trailer. <laughs> flipping shit like swear and I'm like he's probably flipping shit and, shit and swearing he, why the uh, fuck he had to have a lot of before he movies. signed on to the movie right he did not cash it in he did a good job oh, he yeah. doesn't give a shit anymore he didn't cash uh, in though he, actually, he did a good job <laughs> he did fine he with was what the he best was given. part of the movie yeah with what he was sure, given he did He did. you yeah. can see he was giving an effort I mean he hammed it up too like he was definitely yeah like yeah you know he was enjoying himself but like no I think off camera he was just like motherfucking agent you gotta give me something different I guess I'll see it eventually, but there's no rush. I'm not going to see it in the theater. Um, I just think they really need to rethink the formula and yeah, the direction of the franchise they want to go. So, so let me ask you guys a, a, a question without getting too spoilery. But does the ending still leave, you know, obviously the threads of the greater Transformers universe that they were you know, talking about with like a Bumblebee movie? Do they still set that up? They didn't or? really set up a Bumblebee movie, I don't think, but um, they did set up a sequel. I kind Bumblebee is the star Transformer, though. Yeah, he yeah. is featured in this. It's always B. It's the feature, Not even Bumblebee yeah. anymore. It's just B. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> he... I mean, I could see him getting the movie after I, this. I do I do feel like they do need to write new Optimus Prime dialogue. Uh, he has the exact same lines as movie one. And by movie five now, it's like, I'm, I'm tired of him giving the this is Optimus Prime speeches. Uh, I really can't. Uh, he's got to have some new lines. He's got to get new what lines. Means, what? Like, give me your face? I am you know, Optimus Prime. Again? And this is a... Me- he's constantly saying the same lines. I swear to God, he doesn't... They may have just taken those out of the first movie and put them into this one, because I know Michael Bay does that <laughs> often. He does that a lot, I know. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be well, entirely surprised. But It's just... <clears throat> I don't know. But, yeah. The way this movie ends... And it's then, just very anticlimactic. And then fans, and then fans of Transformers... I'm telling you, don't go see this in the theaters because if yeah. you're actually a hardcore fan of this movie, and that's the thing. I, I don't want to you, reward that. Because, you might be, you, know. you might be angry. So yeah, uh, you need to, you because need to watch it. But you might be. It's angry. About the worst movie I've seen in a very long time. Yeah, yeah. that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's I mean very, that's very sad. You know, the first one I thought was good. The second one was terrible. The third one was okay. Fourth one I thought was pretty decent. Yeah, um, no, I thought, I thought the know, first. I thought the fourth one maybe had it had a weak ending, if I remember right. But yeah, it was a little long. Yeah. But, I mean, it was still fun to watch. But yeah, the this Dinobots, the Dinobots see- came in too late in that movie. That's what it was. Yeah, they yeah. were like the... Yeah. Oh my god, the no, Dinobots no, in this no, movie this is, will piss mo- you off. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> just go watch... When it comes out, watch it. Don't, uh, we don't yeah, need to give just, any more spoilers. I want Beta to just say, like, he's I think they're on ice the entire time in this yeah. movie. <laughs> he's gonna be... Yeah. Well, I know what happens in the cartoon, so if that... That was a pun. Intentional. I don't, I don't know. No, not, not intentionally, but no, just... Uh, my, uh, Corey doesn't know the cartoon, but okay. I don't, but, uh, Dinobots, I don't really know the cartoon. Like, I mean, yeah, I don't really care. About but <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it seems like Michael Bay's definitely lost any type of flair or passion he had for that franchise. I think he's done with this franchise, yeah. which is fine. Just... I mean, you know, walk away amicably. That's yeah. Know, and I, he said he was done before, and then he came back to do this one, and so it's like he well, said it for like the past two, though. Yeah, and um, I mean, that, it's like it kind of shows, though. Like, yeah. just just be done then. Yeah. Well, I mean, Paramount's in kind of big trouble. I mean, they don't really have any big successful movie franchises right now. So, I mean, what's yeah. everything they've released? I think this year has been pretty bomba. Yeah, uh, they have. Um, what was it Mission Impossible? And that's it. Yeah. yeah. So just you know, get somebody new in there. They'll uh, they'll, has... they'll reboot this. There's no question. There's, there's, oh, yeah, there's yeah. money. It just needs Transfer to. Is way too yeah, successful. Yeah. Even with the terrible reviews, it still made a third of a billion dollars yeah. in the first week. Yeah. It's insane. All right. Let's get into the movie news. Um, what do we got here? Hang on. I have this closed. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Spider-Man news. We got a lot of Spider-Man news because we're, we're the week before Homecoming. Oh. So okay, I, sure. I put a lot of Spider-Man news on here. Um, so it, we've, we've gone back and forth about this Marvel deal with Sony. Uh, it, it, things have leaked out saying that this was the deal and then this is the deal. Now I have this new bit of information that Sony's actually making every single dollar that this, this movie makes goes straight to Sony, but they don't actually have the merchandising rights. That's all going to Marvel still. The only okay. thing that they are cooperating in here is the marketing. 
So the the advertisements and stuff like that is all. I have to say, the Mark in this movie has been shitty. Yeah, I well, have not we like this Mark Marvel campaign. A, Marvel really does have a hard time with posters. Like they can't do posters. Well, I, Did you see their IMAX poster? <laughs> it looks like a twelve-year-old. Is, is it Marvel or is it um, Sony? No, because Marvel's had this problem with other movies though. Like they're 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 like no no no. I'm not saying they. But I mean, Guardians. I thought the Guardians posters are pretty good. I Doctor guess, Strange I mean, posters are pretty good. Yeah, and the Hulk the Hulk had a. Um, Avengers posters yeah. were pretty good. Uh, there were like, some bad ones. There were some bad ones. I, I know that the Black Panther had the bad I have this Avengers poster. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. From the IMAX. I mean, this is Randomly fine. pull that out? It, well, it's so uses a mouse pad. Lying around. Where is that? How is that sitting that closely for you to use this right now as a prop? It, uh, it's, my, it's my mouse pad. That's <laughs> why. Um, okay, so we have... So we have that news about the profits. We have Peter Parker. This just came out today, uh, being retconned in Iron Man Two somehow. What is the news on this? Uh, this so is Tom. <laughs> what Tom Holland? I know said that yeah. Peter so Parker silly. was in Iron Man Two, right? Yeah, Tom Holland was doing an interview, and uh, apparently it was a popular fan theory or something. Um, even like a year or two ago, ever basically ever since uh, Spider Man was announced to be in the MCU, uh, starting with Civil War, and. There's a scene in Iron Man 2 where when all the military machines get hacked or whatever by the evil guy and start running rampage at the Stark Expo, there's a kid who's in an Iron Man mask and has like an Iron Man like hand toy or mm -hmm. whatever like that. And a robot, you know, one of those suits is about to shoot him and Iron Man like quick jumps in and like blasts it and like compliments the kid on his mask or something like that and just flies away. I remember that uh, scene. Yeah, so I, I, I remember that happening in Amazing Spider-Man too. Hmm. At the end, but okay. No, Iron the, Man, this happened in Iron Man too. I know, but the same thing happens at the end of that movie. Yeah, well, I know kid. this happened. I know this did happen at the expo <laughs> in the beginning of that movie. Yeah, but uh, apparently that is Peter Parker. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Faceless kid in the mask can be whoever you want him to be. There yeah. we go. Retcon. Well, what's What's kind of insane actually is somebody went through the footage. And you can actually hear somebody in the crowd before that scene with the kid, a woman yelling Peter, which, you know, probably coincidence, but it's still kind of like really weird that it's in there. So, wow. Uh, obviously, it's a con. I don't think they plan it. like, yeah, you know what? In like eight years, we're going to be bank on this with Sony. Unless it was, you know, Marvel's long plan. <laughs> they were just yeah. in it for the long haul. <laughs> Unless Marvel has more like power than we know. Too, like for the fans, like, yeah, hey, just been. throw this in there so they could like mess with it and create conspiracy theories and shit like that. Or they legitimately have a like a psychic in their presence making these things so they know what people want before we before we want yeah. it. But it was kind of weird that Tom Holland knew that because you know, he's just an actor. I mean, what why does he need to know that? So, I'm curious to see if that's something they bring up in the movie. I bet you it is. I bet you it is. You know? They got I bet you'll have like him with a picture or something like that from that movie. Like that's I, they might do that. Yeah. Uh, Miles Morales does exist in the MCU. That was confirmed by Kevin, uh, however you want to say his name, Feige. Um, mm -hmm. So he does exist in the MCU. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to guess we're going to get a mention of him in this movie. What do you guys think? No. Probably. You'll get, you'll get a name dropper cameo. Well, he's supposed sure. to be a lot younger than Peter Parker. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, this is why I think we'll get a we'll get a like maybe a, we'll get a, yeah, a, he's a lot younger than Peter <laughs> so Parker like, when Peter Miles. Parker's like twenty something. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, and it's been confirmed that Spider-Man will have on par with the same amount of time as him in Civil War, in Infinity War. So, what was that, five minutes? Yeah, he was in it for like ten. Was he? No, we, had bet. Or... we had a bet that I lost because I thought he would be in over like over ten, the over under or something like that. Yeah, we were, I was with that bet with you. It was we barely lost it. It was by like you lost it by like half, man. It yeah. was what? No. actual well, screen we were, like, three minutes saying, off. Actual the previews screen time. were people. I, I don't understand. People were saying he was in the movie for half an hour. Yeah, and people are idiots. We were like, have no, no idea how screen time works. <laughs> it was maybe <laughs> seven to. Eight minutes. Even with yeah. him as Peter Parker, he was probably in the movie for like twelve minutes. Yeah, yeah. and we bet I think fifteen. Or yeah, something. We bet fifteen. He was in it for about half. Uh, he was probably in it for eight. I think. I think eight total, even with Peter Parker, because that fight was mm -hmm. probably what five minutes long entirely, or ten minutes long, and he was in not every sequence of it. So, you know, the major fight from uh, Civil War. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, Oh, and they then the, also confirmed that uh, Black and Silver and Venom are not part of the MCU. Yes, he shot down Amy Pascal after his meme status. 
Yeah, I like, mean, uh, Tom Holland wrong. still said he wants to be in those movies, and I still... Yeah, he wants to be in those movies, I still movies, think but that... Super. Yeah, but I still think that there's plans that, that might leave that open. Mm. I, I, I'm, I just do. I, I, I think it's more Well, I think a, that's what Sony's banking on. They're like, well, we're just going to go ahead and make these movies, and eventually Marvel will play ball, because yeah. we'll... They, we're just gonna ride the only thing that doesn't work. The only thing that we know train. doesn't work is strong arming Marvel because they'll just be like, "Well, fuck you. We'll go to something else." They do that a lot. Like it they, sounds they like a bad now. situation. Yeah, like remember the actors demanding more money, and then they're like, "Well, we're just gonna make new heroes." Yeah. So, Hemsworth is, you know, his like role is diminished because of that, like his expectations and stuff. So, he wanted the more. I wonder the big if race. this movie like banks if they're gonna bring him back or not. Oh, Thor? Yeah. Yeah, Thor's... I think a lot's riding on that movie. Because... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if this movie, like, makes $800 million, I mean... I With the Hulk in it now... Oh, man, that looks so fun. I mean, now I'm, I'm reading Planet Hulk. I think Hulk. Guardians has people hyped for it, too. Yeah, it's got that Guardians <laughs> vibe. I'm reading Planet Hulk right now, and... Uh, I, Finally. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, about three quarters of the way through it. I'm almost done. So it's been so good. So good, right? Yeah, it's so and good. like, yeah, so you good. watch the movie, you're like, oh man. Yeah, they you cut. Really you can't. You know, why can't they make that like a little mini series instead? Yeah, you know no. what I mean? Like, it's just so much easier. Cause yeah, there's so much. And like great I said stuff. before, like, and that the only reason I'm a little upset with Thor is that they're taking away a Planet Hulk movie. Yeah. Uh, and they're combining. Yeah, yeah. It. I know. They just they couldn't do it with the MCU. It just wouldn't have no, the same. I, I know. At least we're getting something, but it's like still disappointing in that. I'm not going to yeah. get that. I had to read about um, I had to read about Beta Ray Bill a little bit. This is getting on a completely different tangent. I'm sorry, but I had, you know Beta Ray Bill is the guy who's like really powerful. The substitute. Huh? In the, he's the substitute in the animated film. Yeah, but uh, I, I because I knew that for the animated film, I'm like I I was like I wanted to know because I don't really know much about him. So I was reading a little bit about him for some reason. <clears> he, he like one punch knocked out Thor in the comics one time, like just knocked Molnir out of his hand and then mm-hmm. just took it. And then he could, he wouldn't give it back until Odin says give the hammer back to Thor. <laughs> That's the story of Beta Ray Bill. So he's pretty powerful. Uh, I'd like to see that, but whatever. They could use him, is what I'm saying. Like they could bring him. It would be cool to see him in it, but mm. well, we're gonna get I Thor. Mean, which is ex- get it's not off the table. I mean, they're yeah. fucking insane with what they're picking for franchises. Um, there was another interview. If uh, we're transitioning slightly, that. I think it was Kevin Feige or somebody else. They were basically saying that they didn't even like don't expect a lot of announcements for Marvel movies until after Avengers four now. Yeah, I think because they want to leave the mystery about who's making it out of four. Yeah. Uh, the only thing they did confirm is Spider Man two will kick off phase four. That's what they did say. Oh wow, really? Yeah. That Spider Man Homecoming so, two. Whatever the it's not gonna be called Homecoming, but it will be Spider Man yeah, two. Are we getting um, that in two years or Spider Man prom you'll get? I hope. Well, we've had this conversation. Um, oh, yeah. That's video game news. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say the Peter Parker in the game is actually 20-something, I think. So, mm-hmm. um, But, yeah, so that's what that, that was said earlier. I didn't give the link to that article for some reason. Oh, well. Mm. I read that earlier today, though. Spider-Man 2. Home yeah, I saw that, too. Office. Somewhere. Like, I think Screen Rant probably had it. Yeah, they did. I mean, I usually that's where I run through my stuff, but um, so when is Spider-Man <clears throat> Two allegedly coming out in two years? Are we getting that? That'd be a twenty. That quick? That'd be twenty nineteen. No, when's Infinity War Two? Well, Avengers Four is twenty nineteen, right? Because it's yeah. back to back. Well, wait, wait. Are they coming out uh, year by after year? Yeah. Like eighteen nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so so then, then I think that Spider-Man Home was Spider-Man twenty twenty, right? 20. Yeah. It's three years. Well, that's a long time. Well, no, no, no. I think. I think right now, Avengers is pro- both Avengers are probably coming out in May, blockbuster season. I could see Spider Man coming out at the end of 2019. You're not going to put Spider Man at the end of the year. He's a May franchise. Or we'll see July what franchise, franchise he is. This uh, or whatever, summer. I should say summer franchise. Yeah. If he so opens they, up oh, it's gonna be, it is going to be summer. It, that's going to be a hell of a summer. It's July, 15th, July 5th of 2019 slated right now. Homecoming right, too. So that's after that. that's after Infinity War, but like, that's awesome. Like there could be like immediate fallout from that yeah. in that movie. So that would be hmm. kind of cool. I mean, I'm expecting certain heroes not to be there, like one Captain America. Um, I just he does not make it out of these movies. I'm just, he just doesn't. In my I don't think Iron Man makes it out. No, of Steve either. Rogers does not. Make yeah, it I think out Steve of Rogers doesn't make it out. Captain actually. America could make it out of the movies, but not yeah. Steve Rogers. I you no. know I I would go as it's far as Captain to say America. I don't think. I don't know if Nick Fury makes it out of this either. 
Because yeah. they're hesitant on Nick. Nick Fury wasn't he like not even in? I think Maria Hill is trying to like tr transition her into that role. Yeah, I just want to see like we'll do. Uh, you know, we're gonna. I can't wait till we get to that podcast. Like right before that, we'll do some like you know off the wall predictions for who doesn't make it out of the movies. Because uh, <laughs> we're expecting mm -hmm. Thanos to fuck shit up. So. He better. I mean, yeah. if he goes into this movie and like people don't I'm, die, like that. I'm telling you. The pull. first thing he's gonna do is a show up and fucking kill Vision. One punch kill. Get that. Vision. Get that. Yes. Get that. 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 Get is that, uh, that wasn't Guardians, right? No, it was uh, uh, well, Guardians was Tower of the Duck. It was, was it Ultron? Yeah, it, might it have may have been Ultron. Ultron. Yeah, I don't remember now. No oh, man. Um, and let's switch. Let's switch from Marvel. We'll go over to Star Wars here. Ron Howard's been confirmed for the Han, Han Solo director. Uh, I think that occurred. <laughs> after that the came out. This like, what, sounds like that? a total Blair. disaster. Yeah, his movies also, haven't been terrible, but. Apparently, the main actor had to get a lot of coaching. Like, because he was like Ace Ventura. Oh, my God. What's the vibe that he gave off, they said? All I know is it does... <laughs> everything I've read about this sounds like it's a fucking mess. It does. Also, we reported that they quit. They were fired. They were fired. They, they were let go <laughs> slash fired. <laughs> yeah. uh, so... They were asked to leave maybe forcefully. not so politely. <laughs> and apparently, like, Ron Howard was pleased with what they had shot. So he's not doing too much changes with it it's so weird right now like that Ron Howard be... was a fan of the Phantom Menace he thought that was a fantastic film what I no, oh, whatever what I <laughs> what I worry about a bit here too is you know normally they control what gets leaked so much and the worst thing that could have happened is people saying the actor himself is having trouble when you already know He's getting put up against Harrison Ford, and many people don't like him already just because he doesn't quite look right or whatever. It, it, it's it's just the worst possible thing that it's they could have. Like people were saying, nobody should take this role. Like and like before it got cast, like don't oh, this will yeah. probably ruin your career. Yeah, it might. Um, it could but, also like propel it to like who knows if he nails it. Like, can you? Put uh, everybody I I just don't see how he can nail it. Like, I, I can you know. really? nail like one of the defining roles of another actor like it's like part of the reason why Han Solo is Han Solo is because it's Harrison Ford yeah. <laughs> like no I agree with you Mike me, I'm just like, saying so I don't see how like I feel like the characters are really uh, Harrison Ford is one of those guys I mean he's a good actor but he is also kind of himself in most of his roles <laughs> I mean is this movie extent. still coming out early next year no um no, this it is, but it hasn't moved yet. But there's just no way that this doesn't get pushed. Wait, early next year? It's not uh, for the holiday. May. I think it's a May one. Isn't Ugh. It? No, ugh. Well, it's almost halfway through the year. But no, I don't... let me double check it live here. On solo. It's just it's just not the thing that they want to deal with. People like having more more fodder to criticize the the lead of this movie. Uh, May twenty yeah. fifth. I'd say that's early yeah. for a Star Wars film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, Episode Nine is going to be in the summer too. Yeah, so they're going to do eight, and then like it's going to be the same time, like May or something. Yeah, yeah. So, <sighs> all right, I get that Kenobi film, I guess. I going. have been asking for that. That's the movie they should have done. Um, either that, or there are so many fucking characters they could focus on. They could do an original character and just give us a Star Wars story. You know what I mean? The universe is vast. <laughs> Not saying names, just saying that <laughs> they could do any characters that they, they want. That character needs to be redeemed done justice. After yeah, fucking yes. book that yeah. was a piece of shit trash. Oh my god, that told... that that triggered wow. me. I did, I did tell my girlfriend Sounds that like... if, if Ahsoka's name even gets mentioned in episode eight, just at all mentioned, or even like I would, I, I'm gonna lose shit in the theater. I'm just gonna, this is gonna be amazing. I don't expect it, but it would be amazing. So, you gotta rip off your shirt and do like one of those like you score a goal thing and run across and like start waving it, just slide on your knees on the ground. <laughs> I need to get like I need to get a T-shirt that says like Ahsoka lives on it and just wear it for that. Mm. They have them, I think. Somewhere. Yeah, I think they do. So. 
That sounds like a t-shirt that if they don't, that's a t-shirt that should be made. So, yeah. um, all right. I think that's it for news. Yeah, that's it for news. Uh, so yeah, Han Solo is in a mess. Um, let's get into what we've been up to then. Finish up this podcast, uh, this episode. Uh, Mike, what have you been up to watching wise? Nothing. Nothing. I don't think I've watched anything. Yeah. Nope. So I'm going to be like game wise. I haven't been able to do much myself. Tony. Nothing. Nothing. Gaming. Corey. Just gaming. Uh, Transformers, we talked about it. I, I just have to mention again how awful <laughs> that movie is. And I, I and it's it is disappointing it's a quick because shout out for the suckiness <laughs> of this movie. Because like not that I was excited for it, but I was like, you know, let's see how this goes. And it is an interesting take to turn the character evil. And I was like, this is like screams like fast eight, you know, with the whole Dominic stuff and Toretto because... turning like it's his family. But like they just really missed an opportunity here i think with yeah. what they did yeah. so you were closer so. with five minutes than the two-thirds that i well, said yeah it's i close think to that. the timer I mean, would have been i wonder i wonder that timer uh, <laughs> yeah i would like to i would like uh, cory because i don't well, even the know thing is here was right i'll just sorry. break it down if optimus is evil he just murders all the autobots like there's no <laughs> nothing and the way he gets turned yeah. back which is not a spoiler guys i'm sorry but we all know is Optimus his mother's is name Martha too? <laughs> the way he gets turned is... back doesn't make any fucking sense it's like the power of love uh, what's his mother's <laughs> name what's optimus's mother's name that's all you need it kind of i don't it's it's just <laughs> yeah it is the same idea it's the same idea he kind of meets somebody like yeah. that yeah <laughs> there we go all right the power of Martha. Yeah. It wasn't Martha, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to give that spoiler. If you guys can watch whatever you want. On oh this man, thing. imagine if like, like certain characters from like the first film came up back or something. That would have been. And hilarious. surrounded them, be like, yeah, man, you gotta be good. <laughs> come on. It's felt like that kind of situation. Cause... Well, a character from the first one did come back. That was dead. I, that? I'm not saying anything spoiler wise. I don't want to. Oh. Oh, I thought you were just being... No, no. Because, like, um, the, the the Decepticon police car is in this, right? Oh, yeah. Was He, he died in the first one. Did he really? I don't <laughs> think he's the same they, one, they though. They sank I his body different. in the ocean. I think he was different. He's, he, he's a different police car. Yeah. What's his name? It's a Mustang police name? car, though. Because I heard they used the same exact name, so no. it didn't make sense to me. All right, well... Throw out, Megatron throw out keeps coming back anyway, so throw what is it? Neg- I mean, Megatron, yeah. It begins with a B, back. right? How the fuck does he come back in this one? I don't want... Wait, wait. No, he didn't die at the end of the last No, no, Never he mind. just didn't... You, you know, Megatron has not really had a good presence in the movies since, like... The one. first one. The first, yeah. He's always been, like, a side story for some reason, hasn't he? Yeah, the yeah, first one, and, and this he is the same ripped Jazz in half. The second one, he was the bitch to the fallen... The yeah. third one, yeah, he came up with a plan. The fourth Was that one, when the, the model girl just like made fun of him for a while so he would fight the real villain? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's right, model girl. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right, I'm trying to think of... Uh... Who was it? I'm, I don't I'm understand this some up. of the Transformers. Like, why do they... like? I even mentioned in the movie with one that's fat. Like, the guy's like, how are you fat? Like, as a Transformer. <laughs> uh, they, can, they can choose their form, so, you know. Where are the it doesn't make sense. I don't know. There are female Transformers. That doesn't make sense either. Barricade. That's it. Barricade. Yeah, that's Barricade. He's yeah, from was. the first one. He was the first one, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh. Uh, They'll just they assume you forget. I he forgot. walked it off. He walked it off. Uh, Hi, I, Jim, what have you been up to? I then? actually got to see Cars Three as well, so Ooh, I did go a better see like automobile talking this movie. Is a better movie. <laughs> uh, man, I'll tell you the themes. It's depressing. Like oh, it's, Pixar, man. Uh, Pixar for you. It's about dude. It's like it's about a car. gets like it's he's our age, and it's just about him getting too old and slow. <laughs> Like, hmm. yeah, I don't, don't want to see this movie. It's yeah, depressing. It's I don't want to see this movie. I can tell. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not. A, I mean, the ki- I guess kids like it, but it's a. There's two themes to this movie. It's about how racing is not a woman's world, and th- <laughs> yeah, no, out of nowhere that comes into it, and uh, well, yeah, not, not, but that's not. That's the. That's the. That's what they're showing. Like you know, what I mean, uh, that's. It's not like that's what they're saying, uh, and 
And then the fact that once you hit the age 35, there's no sense in going on. Like, <laughs> that's essentially what the... That's the message that I got from this movie. That's terrible. Yes. I don't want to see this movie. Well, so... I mean, he's supposed to be like an athlete, so... Yes, yes. A professional athlete, You can't so. perform at the higher levels, and so... Well, if you're a running back, you're done at 30, so... I know. He's got... He might be yeah. 30. I mean, he might be 30 in this movie, but it's like, man, like, you're showing... They're showing, like, his mentor who's, think... like... From the second one, I think that I never saw the second one. But like, did his mentor like die in that one or something like that? Is the is, first is one is mentor? Oh, the guy with the like the the race car. That guy was the old, hornet though. or something. The hornet, yeah. Like that guy was old, wasn't he? He was like he would yeah. equate him to like sixty as a car, you know, as well, a person. Yeah. <laughs> that that's the other thing. He wasn't see, racing for a long time either. You see those old baseball movies though, and you look did at the, the, one? the, the oh, veterans in baseball movies. They're played by like these fifty year old actors, and they're supposed to be like. 35 it's depressing so, like i was it's like it's kind man, of the same idea they like, up the age a little bit for the veterans there's in no the th- sports world and there's no redemption <laughs> for the age here guys like it it's it's pretty depressing <laughs> it, i'm not watching that yeah Never. it's basically you have to accept your age and move on moral of the story okay. yeah. well then moral of the story. Uh, i want to see it that's huh? the end of this podcast i do want to see it and we're gonna end the podcast on that note <laughs> Uh, I listen. It was still a good movie. I brought some kids to see that too. That it was awesome to go with actually some some younger kids to see it. Like first time in the theaters, like mesmerized by the size of screens. It's pretty cool to get a first experience from a little kid. Uh, but yeah, they hardly they asked a lot of questions during the movie. Like what? Because there's like some technical terms about dra- uh, drafting and uh, like there's some real te- aerodynamics of cars and stuff like that. Yeah, like they really get into some some technical stuff, and you're just like. Wow, it definitely going over the heads of the kids, and yeah, they were asking questions about it. But uh, makes the cars go faster, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's it, it's it, it it was a good movie. It just kind of was a little depressing for someone my age. <laughs> so, uh, as it sounds my, like it hit a chord with you, man. It, as it, it, as I sit here, you know, my knee is kind of bothering me. Uh, it's kind of constantly been bothering me recently. So I'm like, it makes me, you know, already feeling old that can't recover that fast and now i'm watching this i'm like oh <laughs> so. uh, yeah the knees all right uh, good old Owen wilson <laughs> yeah he's getting old yeah no, oh, i know mean, that's in there uh, you know what i mean not, not to make this even more depressing but every time i think of him like remember he had that suicide scare a few years yeah, back yeah and i always just wonder if he's doing okay yeah <laughs> like is this the role for Owen, him Owen is he, he's, <laughs> who are we talking about owen wilson oh oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah he's the, the voice, voice of, of lightning voice mcqueen of lightning. yeah so I don't know. Is he still a voice? Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw him promoting it somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Or whatever he does. Yeah. Is that something? Doesn't do that much. All right. <laughs> well, it's not very whatever. happy notes for the for <clears throat> Lightning McQueen in this movie. Yeah. So the theme of our he, podcast this he needs week to be is fatigue some up, up now getting older. For him. Fatigue it's not good. and old age. If you're long in yeah. your franchise, you're going down. <laughs> Once you hit thirty, it's all downhill. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So that's going to wrap up this episode 350 of the movie cast. Tune in to our movie cast, our game cast coming up. Uh, follow us on Twitter at all. You can geek like us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And, um, follow us on Twitter. Did I say that already? Yeah. Uh, yep. Tune in next week. Tune into our games cast. Uh, maybe next week. We'll figure that out. All right. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yep.